You guys um, didn't have the, it wasn't one director, right? It was like three or four? Three directors, yeah. Three directors. Mm -hmm. It's got to be kind of a whirlwind to go from like one month to the next and you're like, yeah, yeah. okay, I got to get used to this again. Exactly, or yeah. I just got used to something else. Exactly, yeah. And yeah, and that, w that was a challenge and also a learning experience of like being, just being adaptable that, you know, that quickly within the same project. Yeah. I mean, DPs are used to that because we work with different directors sure. all the time, but within one project, yeah, that was a first for me of like, okay, the, and, and all three of them were very different and very different processes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so just like, you know, like being like, you know, open and flexible, but then also like guarding the, the visual language of the show, um, which it wasn't, you know, the, the, the other two directors that came in after Mikkel um, and I had set up the show weren't weren't trying to fundamentally change anything. Sure, you know they were just trying to continue the visual language and enhance it in their own ways. Yeah, um, and then just like just on something this big, you know, there are just so many people, you know, and it, it's it's just a it's a huge circus. Yeah. So like on indie films, you know, you see a magical moment, a sunset across the way of and your you set it. and you can just go run and get it. Yeah. And on this, I remember seeing that and I'm like, oh God, I really want to go shoot that. And then I turned <laughs> around and looked at all the trailers and the tents and the trucks and then I'm like, and, yeah. and the hundred plus crew and I'm like, there's yeah. no way that could happen, you know? Yeah. And, um, and just the sheer number of people you have to communicate and over communicate with. Yeah. You know that was that was also a, a learning curve. Um, it kind of makes you miss maybe some of those like lost by you sets where you're like uh, obviously hard in its own right. You yeah. know, like its own challenges and whatever. But did you do you s still have sort of a love for that? Like oh god, yeah, because two hundred thousand I mean, dollar movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean there are positives and negatives to both. Yeah, but like the magical thing about indie films is is that creative flexibility and, mm -hmm. and you can change things at the last minute and, and just do be more in the moment than you could with on this big of a show. But then you're also, you know, limited by budget. And so you, maybe you don't have enough crew or the tools, but then you learn you're, you're more creative yeah. in a way that way, because you only have a, a limited amount of tools. I remember I was talking to Sean Porter at one point about our movie that we did, um, in the Virgin Islands and it was like I was telling them sort of how nimble we were and yeah. how we could kind of I was like like I'm going to shoot this dialogue scene at sunset yeah you know yeah. and then I'm also going to shoot this other thing and he was like the only way that you could do that is if you had 30 million dollars 30 million dollars or if you had 30 thousand dollars yeah yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah yeah one like extreme or the no other in between yeah yeah and like that's like so much of how that movie was made too was like I, we would just see something yeah and just go like oh it looks like we planned that yeah shit. and you, <laughs> you could know? just you could just fucking play yeah you know but those sensibilities like came in handy too of like sometimes yeah. not making things bigger just because I had all the tools mm, you know what so I mean interesting yeah of like maybe just a little bit of negative fill and some natural light because the scene is very short I could pull that off and yeah. then spin longer. Uh, spend a more amount of time on this. Yeah, that's gotta scene. be such a mind fuck too, because you're like, yeah, you, yeah, it's you have literally everything. a light and some negative, and I have a hundred people with me. Yeah, and you're like, should I be doing more? <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, you, you have that have to, voice coming. You know, yeah. but like solitary confinement, I lit that with a tweenie. Yeah, but that's all it, and some negative feel and a bounce. Yeah. You know, but that's all. That's all we needed. Was there moments where you had to kind of walk yourself down from? Doing too much, so yeah. When I realized, okay, I just less is more here. I mm -hmm. don't need as much as I thought, or maybe it'd be set up, but I could turn things off. <laughs> <laughs>